Welcome back, do-it-yourselfers. I'm Terry Peterman, your internet electrician. My home is at electrical-online.com and of course my videos right here on YouTube. So in today's video short on current topics, we're going back into that kitchen that we renovated. Well, we in fact renovated the entire house over the last year, but back to the kitchen project that I featured in the rough-in stage. I also featured in some under cabinet lighting that I showed you how I installed these 12 12 inch linkable LED strips all throughout the kitchen. And on the rough end, I put a single pole switch near the sink to turn all these cabinet lights on or these under cabinet lights on. And now in hindsight, I should have put a three way switch circuit on that because what I found is we use these lights a lot. In fact, they're usually on all the time. And sometimes in the evening when I go to bed, I go to shut those off and they're the only lights on in the home. And then I've got to walk all the way across the kitchen to get to the hallway lights to turn them on. So one thing we found, they're always on and they don't need to be if we're not in the kitchen. And the other thing is, is that three-way switch network that I should have probably done in the rough in stage, but I, I didn't see it as a need at that time and now we do. So the solution, I'm gonna put an occupancy sensor. So these are occupancy sensors I found at Home Depot. They're a Decora occupancy sensor, auto on from Leviton, two pack, was a good deal on them. They are just single pole occupancy sensors. So I'm gonna install one of these on the under cabinet lighting. So that way they're on whenever we're in the kitchen, they're on, which is what we do now. However, if there's no motion in the kitchen, they're gonna shut off. So I can just head off to bed at night, turn on the hall light, to get down to the other end of the hall and shut that off knowing full well the kitchen under cabinet lightings will shut off on their own. So without further ado, let's get started on the project. I'm gonna show you this one step by step. All right, so here we are in the kitchen and this is where the under cabinet lighting is switched on. If you haven't looked at that video where I installed these under cabinet lights, showed you how I uh, mounted those LED strips more than an installation process. It was more just to show you how we did the LED strips inside this coving. Anyhow, like I said, we're gonna switch this single pole switch out to an occupancy sensor so that the under cabinet lighting is always on while we're in the kitchen or in the area and off when we're not. Of course, we begin by removing the face plate and taking out the device. Of course, I've got the power off, so I can remove this switch and we'll hook up our occupancy sensor. Okay, so we got to remove the old single pole switch. Well, not that old, just put this in less than a year ago. Undo the terminals for the hot and the load, the line and the load. and the ground. I read all the instructions on the occupancy sensor, so you don't have to, you can just follow my lead here. So now, you see these are kind of backwired terminals. You could go around the terminal clockwise like these were hooked up to the other screw terminals. And I might just do that because I prefer that rather than going in the back wire holes. So we're gonna go around the terminal as that one was. And I note with interest that on the instructions, it says the device will not function without a ground wire on the a ground on that ground terminal. So that tells me that they're kind of cheating a little bit with this device and they're stealing the ground as a, a neutral. There's very little current that will be flowing on that. It's just to make the electronics work inside the switch. But that is the reason that we have to have a neutral in every box now because of devices such as these that uh, kind of steal the ground wire and use it as a neutral for the electronics to function. So it is approved and everything and there are cases when you're allowed to do that but uh, this is not, it's not the best for sure. That should have a separate neutral terminal, terminal and a separate ground. But nonetheless, they're taking a little bit of uh, using the ground as a bit of a conductor here. So hook back up the ground first and the ground is going to have to be used as kind of a back wire. 
connection instead of the terminal. In fact, I'll just do that with all three. So the ground wire goes in. Push it all the way down. And tighten that terminal. Tug test, make sure it's good. My hot wire. Ah, I'll put it around the terminal. Make sure it's going around 180 degrees and that it's tight. Conductor is fully around the screw terminal. Not overlapped, just around 180 degrees, but not overlapped, as I said. Turn it over. Fix our loop here a little. Make a nice loop terminal, a loop in the wire, I should say, to go around the terminal. The red is the load, so this is going out to the lights. So it's fighting back a little bit. Go to your home. There. Try to keep my hands out of the way, my arms out of the way. that in tight under the screw. Okay, that one's tight. So there's the load out to the lights, the line, and the ground all hooked up. Now we'll mount it in the box, making sure that that bare ground doesn't touch any other terminals inside this box as we push it back in. Start one of the box screws. Okay, and now the directions, instructions say, leaving the face plate off, we wanna remove the plate here so that we can get at the, at the adjustments, so the settings. So you pull down on that plate. You can also change these out to different colors. If you had almond or, or ivory or some other type, you could order a face plate that matches your existing your existing devices but we've got all white in here and there we reveal the settings all right so looking at my instructions here the time selector is the one on the left increments of 0 1 2 3 0 being 30 seconds 1 being 5 minutes 2 15 minutes and 3 30 minutes so that's the amount of time that the lights will stay on after it senses motion or occupancy of the room then the light level adjustment, that can be set so that they do not come on during the day. So we'll set that somewhere mid-range. Then the settings on that are anywhere from 0 to 3 as well. So we're going to try that at about a 1 because we like these lights on quite a bit. Okay, I'm going to go restore the power and we'll test it out. Okay, with the power back on, the lights came on. So, we're going to play with these adjustments a little bit, and that might have to be played with. So they say leave the, you have to leave the face plate off until you find your right settings. So, one is for the amount of light that they'll come on in. So I'm going to go with a one on that, and I'm going to go with a number two on the time, which is 15 minutes they'll stay on while there's motion in the room, or once it senses motion. So. We'll try those settings. For now, we'll leave the faceplate off so that we can play with those adjustments. But of course, you would just to put it back on quite simply, reattach your plate. You can manually turn them off, manually turn them on. And then you would just put your faceplate on once you get your adjustments all correct. So it looks like the higher the number on the brightness level, the, uh, the more light that they will turn on with, and the lower the number, the darker it'll be before they turn on in the kitchen. So I've set it for about a two right now, 
and I've only got it for 30 seconds just for testing here but I know where the settings need to be so I'm going to put that face plate back on but now as I enter the room you see the lights came on and all seems to be working well so that's another project done thanks very much for watching please hit that subscribe button click the notification bell that way you'll know when I release a new video and also please comment leave some comments below I'll answer them when I can and I usually get at them once a day and uh, ask me a question you can suggest a video content that you'd like to see me do anything you want please put them in the comments and we'll talk so thanks again for watching I am your internet electrician Terry Peterman until next time